welcome to Landry Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears, live that awesome life. You may not even feel like it's fear that stops you. Maybe you think, I have no fears, I just want to get everything in order. I want to get the stuff, I want to be happy, I want to stop worrying about money. I want to have a loving relationship. I want to get up in the morning and think, wow, I'm so glad to go into work or have my own business or whatever it is you're doing. So I'm back up here in the mountains of Tennessee, and it's absolutely beautiful. I got up this morning and meditated and watched the sunrise. I shot some of that for you guys. I'm going to share that with some meditations that I'm going to start doing for you. I want to talk about your state of mind and how you do get into that place where you're getting the stuff, but more than anything, how you're finding the peace. When you find the peace, everything else flows. How do you get in that state of mind? So I think about the things that I desire to manifest because we're continually expanding and evolving. That's a good thing. It's good. It's not that you don't have enough or you need more or whatever. It's that life is here to experience and never worry about that. Unless you're focused on just the material world, you know that that's not going to ultimately really make you happy. Yes, we need the material things. We need to be taken care of. That's okay. You'll get all those things. But when you go into that huge space and connect to your energy, you're manifesting and creating those situations. You are attracting those things. Why? You're shifting into reality that doesn't believe anything different. So when you manifest the things you want, it's because you're choosing them not because you're desiring them and wanting them and feel that you don't have them. It's the toughest thing in the world is when you don't have something is to then imagine that you do. Well, you do. You always do. Because it's not appearing in the material world at this moment, we always get into the state of mind that we don't have it. And that's when you have to switch into what is reality. Reality is everything existing all at the same time. Because you're in a physical body, you chose to be in a physical body experiencing the material world at this time, you're having to bring those realities into the material world to experience it the same way you are as a human. Does that make sense? Otherwise, when you're on the other side, you just shift into all these things. You know, there's no density because there's no material body that keeps you thinking that everything is solid. It's not. So I'm having my coffee with you. Ooh, that's hot. Um, Mexican coffee. Love it. So, how do you get into that state of mind? When you know, when you know, and you understand quantum physics, it becomes pretty simple that we have to shift gears out of that old thinking of, and I don't like to use the word religious because I don't want I don't want to ever infringe on anybody's beliefs. I'm not here to do that or change your ideas. I want you to know that according to spirituality and science are just one thing. There's no differentiation like, oh, quantum physics and here's religion and they conflict. They don't, not at all. All those miracles, everything that everybody has ever done, all prophets have done in the past, are tapping into the reality that exists, pulling it in, shifting it in. Chose it, shift it in. Now, most of those miracles and things you see rely on the beliefs of the other people who have free will and have to shift that reality and if they didn't they might remain sick or in a bad situation. You don't need that other person, you don't need uh, the miracle worker to do that for you. You can shift on your own and I think we use the other person because they're already believing and they help pull us our energy up in higher frequency so those those situations can help you but you still have to believe. You can't believe that they're doing it for you, but what's happening is they're opening up gateways that they realize, and you're picking up on that energy, and then you can feel it and sense it and then choose it yourself. Then you go into the miracle, the healing, the abundance, all those other things. It's always you choosing. Always. All you guys that write me, Landry, I need this, Landry, I need that, I'm like, you're not listening to my videos. I'm giving you that gift. Not because it's mine, because it's something that I know and experience, 
and I'm sending that energy to you that you can shift into. So when you get the thoughts, the conflicting thoughts, do not fight anything. I'm going to do a video right after this about you know, fighting things, people are battling things. You're actually putting energy onto it. You're not believing. That's not choosing. When you choose something that you truly desire, it is already done. You relax, and no matter what's going on around you, and it could be pretty bad stuff. I know you guys are challenged out there. Know that if you stay in, in that panic mode, the anxious mode, the dissatisfaction, all that, you're just staying in that reality. You're fueling that reality. So this is your biggest challenge. How do I shift and choose into the new reality? First of all, start using different terminology. I want, I need, give me, I don't have. I choose. I have. I am. That's a fact. You do have. You do. You are. You do have access to everything. And you can choose. So when you say, I choose, you placed your order to the universe. I choose abundance. I choose peace. I choose wonderful, giving, generous friends. I choose wonderful people and situations that facilitate my goals so that I can be a force on this earth, a positive force. That's one of my mantras is, may I be a positive force on this planet. May I make a difference in the best possible, highest way on this planet. If I don't do that, nothing I gain, no place I go visit, no retreat, no car or house or anything will matter when I leave this earth and we go into the huge, infinite existence of the one that has everything to do with what we're doing here, not what we're getting. So that journey of choosing the abundance and creating all these things is you becoming that beautiful person to get it and then it just happens. It's like, oh, I'm now at peace with all of this stuff going on around me. I know it's not me. I know it's temporary. I know there's value in it. I need to learn. And when you go into that space, you start to feel at peace and then you say, okay, I think I've learned some value. I've got some value from this situation. Now what I want to shift into, I choose, I choose the next journey that's going to bring abundance and joy to myself and others. When you always choose things for yourself, choose, let's say, not specific things for other people, but choose light and love and healing and abundance for others, and then they get to choose into it again. So it's this constant, constant giving, giving and receiving. Right? When you're giving, you're putting out, you're putting your order on, I'm choosing, that's out there that people can tap into. So you might, with your positive vibes like I hope I'm doing for you, change your mind and shift into something and say, wow, I don't know why, maybe you're meditating and other people, you know, anywhere in the world are raising their frequency and you're picking up on it and then you get to choose what you're going to do with it. Then you say, I choose abundance. I choose to find the value in a situation and no longer struggle. I choose to find peace in every situation. I choose to see the world as a beautiful, peaceful place and that even through the pain and all of the physical things and the mental and emotional dense things as humans we experience, I know that there's something beautiful that can come from that. And I pray that all beings, including you, now I'm saying this to you, will find something so incredible from it and get it that if you're in that place where you're not living the life you want, there's something you need to shift. You need to choose that shift. Choose that new mind. So we can do a video right after that about becoming that different person. All right, so I'm going to have my coffee, shoot a couple more videos for you, and then I'm going to be in the pool because... The temperature is going up here, and I'm getting very um, humid. You are whole and perfect, strong and powerful, beyond your imagination as a human. You're loving, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. 
It's all there. Choose that. I am that. I choose. So we're going to choose to be that person you want to be in the next video. Now choose the life you want. Not to get rid of that thing that you don't want or the situation you don't want. Find value in it. Get the experience. Do what you're supposed to do to shift into that. If you don't, you stay right where you are. I know you don't want that. I know we all want to expand and go to higher, more beautiful places. Namaste.